In this video, I'll show you how to do mesh current analysis by inspection. This is a lot like node analysis by inspection, but in this case, we're going to be limited to only circuits that have independent voltage sources. So you can't have those diamond shaped dependent voltage sources. And if you're dealing with current sources, then this is not our first choice. So let's see how this goes. Of course, our objective is to set up a matrix equation so we can solve n unknowns with n equations. Here, our n by n matrix is a matrix of resistances. We're solving for mesh currents, the I's. And this is the total voltage rise around the kth loop. So remember, this is in the direction of IK, so we're tracking voltage rises, and signs and directions matter. All right, and then, of course, these are the mesh currents. And then, the diagonal elements. So let's say here, the diagonal elements of our matrix. So the RKK diagonal element is going to be the sum of all resistances in the kth loop kth mesh. And then the off-diagonal elements, we'll say it's rjk, which will also be equal to rkj. And these are going to be the sum of all resistances common to loops j and k. And actually, we have to make these negative. And we'll add a note that the diagonal elements are positive. And that'll be enough to do a mesh current analysis by inspection. This will also be a good confirmation if you have an eligible problem that if you did it by, you know, a more formal process, you can check things out and make sure that they make sense. A dummy check, as it were. So let's do this example. Small two mesh circuit. I'm going to identify two mesh currents. We're first going to do it the long way, the normal way, and then we'll see that it's the same result as the by inspection method. So for mesh one, we have the following KVL equation. Okay, remember that um, what I'm doing here is I'm adding up voltage drops as I go around the loop. So we have a negative Vs1 as we follow the mesh current I1 and then a positive Vs2 as we follow the mesh current. So it's a positive Vs2 drop. Okay, mesh two then. So there's our KVL equation. And then we can just rearrange these in a nicer form evocative of a system of two equations to unknowns. First equation, we have an I1 term. Notice that when the voltage sources move to the other side of the equation, we get a sign change. So now we think of them as voltage rises as you follow the current, right? See, we're, we follow current I1, we get a voltage rise of Vs1 and a voltage rise of negative Vs2. All right, mesh two gets us the following. All right, now we'll write this as a matrix equation. Okay, that's the matrix equation, and that is just like I told you before. Diagonal elements are the sum of all the resistances in the kth loop, kth mesh, and then uh, off-diagonal elements are the sum of resistances that are common to each loop. In a larger system, when you have meshes that have no resistors in common, well then the, those don't contribute at all to the off-diagonal elements. Okay, I hope that helps you with by inspection mesh current analysis, and hopefully you can do some examples now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video. Have a great day.